Yeah, further to my warning video about cheap, cheap carburetors and the likelihood of them actually being intellectual property ripoffs of something that actually works. Um, this is, I've been playing with this just out of interest, but I can illustrate this to you. Here's the distar discharge tube, sometimes called the emulsifier tube, and the float bowl goes, float bowl goes under there, and fuel gets sucked up through that, and it gets chucked into here and mixed with air. Point is, this is where this is where all the fuel goes. So you have a thing in there called the main jet. <laughs> main jet looks like this, and they're all different sizes. They go from mid 60s, 060, up to mid 70s, 070. I don't know what that relates to, whether that's thousandths of an inch or tenths of a millimeter or what. But when you take one of these Chinese fellows apart, or I don't think all of them are like this because I think this is just bad quality control. Those of you who are into carburetors will know what you're, what's wrong. And for the rest of you, you're about to know what's wrong. There you go, that's what I was talking about. It's got to have little holes. It's called an emulsifier because it makes a fine mist of petrol, of the petrol or gasoline, and it mixes with the air better. This is absolutely essential for mid-range. Bike's completely useless without this, and there you go. <coughs> that's what one should like, that's an S, that is an S&S &S one. And that fits perfectly. And the jets that came with the Chinese car fit perfectly into that, la la la. Uh, the point is, I've forgotten what the point is. Oh yes, I bought this thing by mistake. I do not condone uh, intellectual property theft because it costs skilled, well-paid jobs. And uh, we need skilled, well-paid jobs, wherever you are. <laughs> whatever country you're in. And I did buy this in error, and I bought it by mistake. And if it hadn't have been for that tube being knackered, I, I would never have thought twice about it. It would have gone on it. Cheap carburetor, air filter go on the front of it. Never think of it again. Hmm. I mean, it has to be said, it's very unlikely that there's a Harley out there that hasn't got at least some um, aftermarket parts on it um, but the tricky thing is a lot of these are legitimate companies and they're licensed and I hardly know all about them and everybody knows all about them and it's fine and because everybody knows all about them they've got to make good products and because they've got to make good products yeah they are eye-wateringly expensive <laughs> really 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 sudden expensive um, but it's if you're poor like me just just save your pennies just it's not worth um, it's not worth taking the risk that you've just spent money you can't afford on something that's just useless, literally useless. Um, and also, it, it does cost well-paid, skilled jobs, and it makes more shittily paid, awful condition, nasty jobs. And I've worked enough of those in my time, and I wouldn't really wish them on anyone. Cheery bye.